And I am so proud to announce my husband, Mike Johnston, as our next mayor. Hello, Denver. Uh, now you know why everyone on our campaign team has a button that says, I voted for Courtney, uh, uh, which is not at all a surprise. Um, it is great to be with you tonight. Uh, I, I just received a call from Kelly, who very graciously called uh, to wish us the best on the road ahead. Uh, thank you. Uh, I thanked her both for her incredible service to this city, for her creativity, for her generosity. We've gotten to spend a lot of time together on this campaign, and I've seen her as someone who is deeply committed to what this city can become, and who has brought great ideas to the stage that we want to make sure become a part of the future of Denver. Uh, uh, yes. That includes everything from thinking about uh, how we make sure to get young people access to apprenticeships, to how we make sure we can reform our permitting process to make it easier to build things in the city, and how we think about how to do a comprehensive approach to community-based public safety. I really credit her for her leadership on those significant ideas. Um, uh, I also want to thank and congratulate the amazing field of candidates that started out this race with us. One of them who is a close friend of mine who is here tonight, Leslie Herod. I want to thank Leslie so much for her leadership. We also have my longtime friend and ally, Terrence Roberts, who's in the house all the way back from our time in the Holly. I think we may have Ian Tafoya or Jim Walsh or Lisa Calderon or others who are in the audience, but to every one of those people who said, I love this city enough to fight for it and to spend six months of my life making a case for it, I want to say thank you for your leadership. Um, uh, I also... Um, Got a, a very nice call from Mayor Hancock, um, and I, I thanked him for what has been an incredible 24 years of service that he's given as both a city council person and as a mayor. Yes, absolutely. Uh, my family and ours are lucky to grow up in a city that he's shaped, that includes things like universal preschool, that includes things like paid access to college for all kids, that includes a the third best airport in the world, and a thriving economy that's a home to startups across the city. Those are all things he has labored to build, and we are grateful for that contribution. He also, by the way, if things go well, will be the first mayor in Denver history to have presided over a Super Bowl, two Stanley Cups, and an NBA championship, let's hope. Uh, 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 and... Um, I do, uh, Courtney said it more powerfully than I will, but I do want to thank some of my family who's here, uh, my mother-in-law, Nita, who Courtney mentioned, who has helped support us and our family throughout this entire journey. Uh, so grateful. Uh, my mom, who has always been a source of inspiration and pride. Uh, my brother and sister, who are both here and have shaped me into the person that I am. So grateful. Um, and uh, our dad, who is looking down tonight and saying, whatever you do, don't screw up losing the Broncos. Uh, and so we will try to at least deliver on that. Um, the, uh, this race was about uh, a big vision for what's possible for Denver. It was about uh, a dream of Denver. And we know there are cities that have tried to deliver that dream that have failed. Whether those are cities that have made two kinds of mistakes, cities that uh, have missed the chance to find a new economy and new innovation and bring growth to those cities, and there you have businesses that have closed and stores that have shuttered and the young people who are third or fourth generations of those family took their creativity and their innovation and they left and they went looking for something else. Those are the cities we left behind. We know there's another type of city that actually grew but grew so fast they didn't think to ask what they were growing for or who they were leaving behind and what they were losing from what they had built. And those cities grew so fast, they became unaffordable to the folks that had actually built them. They became unsafe to the folks that lived in them. And they became unwelcoming to the folks that were trying hardest to make their lives there. Those are the cities that left us behind. In Denver, we have the drive to dream something different, which is to believe we can build a different kind of city. We can build a city that is big enough to keep all of us safe, to house all of us, to support all of us. That is our dream of Denver.
And that dream looks different around this city. That dream looks like a young Latina who grew up in North Denver, absolutely, who saw her mom and dad struggle and decided she would be the first one to go to college and finish. And she did. And she got that job out of college. She always wanted to be a public school teacher right here in Denver. And her dream is that she can rent an apartment she can afford to live in in the neighborhood she grew up. That she can fall in love with somebody and make their vows and commit to build a life together and walk over the threshold of a home that they can own themselves. Down the street from the house where they, her grandmother lived and where she had her quinceanera photos in the backyard and maybe just down the block from a place where she can, when her daughter gets old enough, walk her to school, to the very school that she teaches. That is our dream of Denver. Our dream of Denver is for a young black man who is married to a young white man who's living in a Midwestern city where they don't feel seen and they don't feel welcome and they don't feel safe. And they want to build a business and build a life and they pack up all their stuff and they put it in the back of their car and they drive to Denver. And here they find a city where we're going to invest in minority-owned businesses to help them grow that dream into something amazing where they can hold hands and walk to a fantastic drag show on a Sunday brunch, or to a beautiful, peaceful symphony on a Saturday evening, or to a community theater. And in every one of those places, they know this is a city that welcomes them, that supports them, that believes in them. That is our dream of Denver. And our dream of Denver is a place where the mom that has those two kids who've been making Nuggets posters for five years finally say, Mom, we got to go downtown for this watch party tonight. And they can get on a safe and public transit to get to downtown. And when they get here, they can run around with all of the joy and happiness they feel in their own backyard. They know they can feel safe when we drop them off to school. They can feel safe when they're sleeping in their own homes. They can feel safe when they are playing in the jewel that is the downtown of this great city. That is our dream of Denver. And yes, our dream of Denver is that when you come back home after having done two tours of duty in Iraq and you come home and you get an injury and you get addicted to opioids and you find yourself on the street with no place to go, your dream of Denver is a place that is going to say, we will get you a roof over your head. We will get you access to the services you need. We will get you an address that you can put on a job application. We will get you people who live around you who will help you beat that addiction and get yourself back up to a sense of hope. We will get you a job where you get those first two or three paychecks, and when you get those paychecks, you move into your own place. And that's the moment, that's the moment when in your own kitchen, you get to make your own dinner, and you get to invite your mom and your sister back to sit at your table and eat dinner and look at you with that same pride they had the moment you said you were enlisting in the Army. That is our dream of Denver. And so tonight, we are proud that that was the reason we ran this race, that there are people in this room right now who feel those same fears. Do I still believe I can afford to live in this city? Do I still think my kids will be safe growing up in this city? Do I think I can get my life back together in this city? Well, folks, tonight, Denver decided that we believe in a city that can do all of those things. That we believe in a Denver where everybody that loves this city and serves this city and believes in this city ought to be able to afford to live in this city. We believe in a city where kids will be safe on playgrounds and on schools and in neighborhoods and in our downtown corridors because in every neighborhood you got to be able to walk out your front door and know this is your home and in your home you feel safe. And we believe in a city that will find those of us in the moments that we are struggling the most and say I see you and I know what you need and I will be here shoulder to shoulder to walk with you on this journey until you find what you need and you can pick yourself up off of the ground and you get your life back together again. That's, right. That's the city we believe in. And so I will um, just close by saying that uh, this election comes in a moment where there are many folks who worry that this country has lost its way. That maybe uh, 
those bonds that used to bind us have frayed or even broken. But the biggest catastrophe of those moments is giving in to the little voice inside your head that says, we can't. We can't end homelessness. We can't make big cities safe again. We can't find people at their lowest and give them a chance to put their lives back together and find housing and opportunity. These problems are hard, but there is no problem more dangerous than the voice inside your head that says we can't. Si se puede. <laughs> Denver, Denver has always been a city that dreamed that we can't, that found a way when nobody else believed that we could, and that believed that it was our opportunity not to be the victims of our own story, but to be the authors of our own story. So tonight, we write a new chapter. Tonight, we start a chapter about a city that is gonna be big enough to care for all of us, to support all of us, to house all of us. That is our dream of Denver. This is our Denver. This is our dream. Let's now go to work to build this into America's best city. Thank you so much. We love you. Let's get to work.